Okay, we'll get you up right away. Setting off the smoke machine was a very dangerous thing to do. And all of this could have been avoided if you just danced with Lily. I'm sorry. I'll go and dance with Lily now. Norman dance? Yes, of course. Hey, Elvis. Time for our big lift. Turn out like I planned. Billy Star, that's my cake. Bingo! Looks like we found him. Get ready to go in, Helen. Roger that, Tom. Don't worry, James. Everything is going to be all right. Are you hurt? Um, no. I don't think so. Hang on tightly, James. We're going to get you out of here. I've got him, Penny. Take us up. Roger that, Helen. Hold us steady, Tom. He's not injured, Sam, but be careful driving him back. He's had quite enough excitement for one day. Roger that, Helen. And don't worry, I'll remember the fizzy pop. Well done, Pioneers. And a nice effort at bandaging. I did that! It was very good that you learnt lots of things from your book, James. But you forgot what it said on the first page. Happy birthday, James. Love from your sister, Sarah. Uh, no, not, not that. Maybe the next page? Uh, contents? No, James, not that one either. Oh, here it is. Always keep calm. Yep, yeah, yes, that's it, James. Always keep calm. Do you want me to drive you back to Ponty Pandy in the ambulance, Trevor? Maybe it might be best if I drive, Elvis. <laughs> and I'll give you a few lessons on the way. Oh, OK, Helen. <gasps> But can I drink the fizzy pop this time? <laughs> Sarah, if you can hear me, pick up the handset. Sarah, do you read me? I can hear you, Uncle Sam. Uh, loud and clear. Help is on the way, but the tide is coming in and you need to make yourself safe until we get there. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Uh, uh, roger that, Uncle Sam. OK, Sarah. Once you have taken off your seatbelt, roll down the window and get out of the car. Remember, seatbelt, window, out. I've got it, Uncle Sam. Seatbelt, window, out. Uh, seatbelt, window, out. That's it, Sarah. Don't worry, Sarah. I've got you. I'm glad everyone is safe and sound, Sam, but our drills didn't exactly go as planned. And I didn't get any good footage for my ocean rescue epic. I think you might actually have the best ocean rescue epic ever, sir. 
Everyone's body cams were still on when we rescued Sarah. I know you didn't do it on purpose, Sarah, but you need to be really careful when you're inside a car and never touch any of the controls. Sorry, Penny. I don't suppose we'll ever get to see the new Flex Dexter movie now? I wouldn't worry about that, James. I know an even better movie you can see instead. Welcome to the premiere of our new promotional video. Introducing our new action hero and star of the silver screen, Elvis Cridlington. <laughs> I'm the king of the world! <laughs> oh no, uh, not this version! We're on it! Come on, guys. Stay low and let's get you out. Let's get this fire under control. You two blast the main blaze before it spreads. I'll tackle the smaller fires. house, Sam. What's your situation? Everything's under control here, Penny. I'm so sorry. I rushed the assembly of my pyrotechnic launcher module 2000 and I didn't have time for the final safety check. No, it's my fault for being so impatient, Dad. I should have given you more time. It would have been worth the wait. Well, however good it was, the safest way to enjoy fireworks is at an organised public display. But we've missed that now. Oh, no, you haven't. If you hurry, you may just catch the start. <gasps> can we go, Dad? Of course we can. Great. I will get to see two displays after all. And hopefully, these fireworks will be where they belong. <laughs> Up in the sky. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. They're nearly as good as yours, Dad. We need you all to move back for your own safety. Thank you. OK, team. Looks like we've got a burning wood oven, a gas canister and an electric microwave. I'll disconnect the microwave. And I'll keep that gas canister cool. to sticky foam. Roger that, Ellie. The fire's spreading. I'm on it, Sam. It looks like the source of the blaze was this wood-fired oven. Um, sorry, Sam. That was our oven. I may have been in a bit too much of a hurry. <laughs> uh. That was James's fault. He kept rushing Dad. No, I didn't. You did. Well, whoever it was, you need to remember that you have to be very careful when cooking outside, especially when you're using a real fire. Sorry, sorry. Ellie. I see. Cridlington. Lincoln, have you found any leftover pizza? Not a single slicer. Oh, that's very disappointing. No more pizza today. But who fancies fish and chips? Excellent! <laughs> Ooh, jackpot. Snack for the journey, Elvis. Uh, I think I'll wait for my fish and chips, sir. Sarah and Nipper. I'll tackle the fire. 
I can't see Sarah and Nipper. I'm going to check the basement. Roger that, Sam. Sarah! Sarah! I'm here, Uncle Sam! Oh, Sarah, we need to leave. And I can't find Nipper! Don't worry, Sarah, we'll find him. But right now, I have to get you out of here. The fire's out, Sam! I couldn't find Nipper anywhere. <laughs> What is it, Curl? Go, show me. Why is Shadow sniffing Nipper's toy? She's trying to find him for you. She's concerned about the smoke. Lead, Radar! <laughs> That's it! Follow! What a team! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Penny. I was training Nipper and somehow he got into the cafe and turned on the stove. Well, Sarah, you have to keep a very close eye on dogs and make sure that you always know where they are. Lizzie's checked the dogs over and they're all fine. Oh, Nipper, I'm so glad you're safe. All thanks to Radar and Shadow. <laughs> <gasps> you see, James? I told you I would teach Nipper at least one trick. High five!